Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerbin from Incredible Tutorials, and today we're going to take a look at Pond5's new Adobe Premiere plugin. Now, if you're not familiar with what Pond5 is, it's a world-leading website that contains vast amounts of stock footage. This includes videos, photos, illustrations, audio files, 3D models, and After Effects templates. Now, if you're an animator or filmmaker like Jim and I, you know the value of stock footage. It can really enhance a production. So if you're interested in this, I would first advise that you click Join Now on the Pond5.com website. You can join for free, and this will ensure that the next part of the process goes seamlessly. So once you have an account, you can go to Pond5.com slash Adobe. This will take you then to the plugin page. And again, this is for Premiere Pro. You can click on the blue box to download the plugin. Now, just so you're aware, you do need Mac OS 10.6.8 or Windows 7 in order for this plugin to work, as well as Premiere Pro CS6 or CC. So if you meet those requirements, click on the box to download and we can then proceed to the next step. You'll need the Adobe Extension Manager in order to install the plugin. The Extension Manager, as an example, if you click on, let's say, your Creative Cloud app, can be downloaded right here. It looks like this, Extension Manager CC, in the case of the Creative Cloud subscription service. So once you download that, you can open up then the Extension Manager. Now, it'll bring up all the Adobe products that can have plugins installed for them, and we can click on then Premiere Pro CC, and then click Install. Now, you'll want to browse to the folder that you installed the plugin to. We can click on Pond5, click Open. You'll want to accept the license terms, and it may give you this warning saying that Pond5 isn't verified as a publisher. Don't worry. That's normal, just click install. So now let's open up a project file in Premiere and we can add some stock footage to it with this plugin. So now with Premiere open, I just imported a simple clip. This might look familiar to you viewers out there. It's just our opening slide for our new tutorials here. So let's say I want to put some footage into the monitor on the monitor screen. Well, let's open up that Pond5 extension and let's see what we come up with. So I can go to Window, Extensions, Pond5 Anywhere. So now, when you launch this for the first time, you will be given a link, the same link where you downloaded the plugin. You can also go there for step-by-step -step video tutorials and frequently asked questions. So if you have an issue or a question, it's best to go to that link. Now, if you proceed to the second step, you'll then need to choose a folder where you want to put your stock footage. So you can click Browse, and I'll just go to Documents, and I can make, let's say, a new folder, and we'll name this Stock Footage. And we'll put it in there. I'll just click Open, and then proceed to step two of two. And it will also advise that you can now, since you're using the plugin, get 50 free pieces of stock media. So we'll take a look at that in a little bit. You can access it right up here where it says 50 free. You will also need to log in. You can see I'm already logged in, but make sure you log in with that account that I advised that you created at the beginning of this video, or you can make an account up here as well if you haven't done so yet. So once you've done that, you'll see the latest and greatest footage currently on Pond5. That's what you're looking at right now. And what's cool about this is it works like the website. If you highlight any of these clips, it will give you a preview of what it looks like. So it can give you a good idea if it will work for your production. Of course, you'll probably want to take advantage of the search field because you'll probably want to look for specific types of footage or media. In this case, I could type in space and 
For video, I'll leave that checked, but I could also view music and sound effects search results. And you can also choose how these results come in based on artist, date uploaded, duration, and so on. But I'll leave it at best match and then click search. So now what you have here is a bunch of space footage. And of course you can just highlight over any of these and you can check them out. So that works really well. But let's say you still don't know if this footage will work for your production. Well, let's pop over here to the 50 free and let's grab one of these free pieces of media. So let's say you're looking at this and you're just not quite sure. Well, this is what's so great about this plugin. You can click now to import that footage into your bin. You can see right here, it's in my bin. Now, you can just drag that then onto your timeline here. Let me just bring this up like that. And you can see now we have the footage kind of where the monitor is. And this is a low resolution version of this footage, but it gives you enough to work with. So you could, for instance, come in here to your effects and we could enlarge it, you know, adjust the positioning and figure out if this is something that we want for the production. And then we could just play through it, kind of see how it looks with the footage and so forth. And let's say that is one piece of footage that we actually want. We like this, but of course it's lower resolution and we have the Pond 5 watermark on the screen, of course, so we want to get rid of that. Well, let's pop back here to the plugins and you can do this a couple of different ways. The first is to replace the current footage with a high res version of the footage. So we can click replace with high res clips and this will save the project file and it will get everything good to go. And what will happen now is it's going to say, okay, so here's what we've detected that's in your project file. You have this footage, this footage, this footage, Choose the ones that you want to conform or the ones that you want to upgrade to paid footage. Now, in this case, this is free footage. It says $10, but it is free. So we could click on that footage or we could just choose select all and then click OK. Now it'll ask, how do you want this to be downloaded? Which codec do you want it in? Which format do you want it in? Well, I'll choose H.264 and then click OK and it says the purchase items will be downloaded and conformed. Okay, so now you can see right here, we have a progress meter for the download. So what's going to happen here is it will download and then it will do some things to the sequence. And how long it takes to download will definitely depend on the footage itself, plus just how fast your internet connection is because some connections are slower, so you know, some downloads will be slower and so forth. So once it's downloaded, it'll import the files, it'll save your project file, and now you're gonna have to re-import your sequence or your project file. So I'll just select import selected sequences, and I will choose my intro slide sequence and hit okay. Now you'll see in my bin that I have two sequences, the original and the new one, and I also have the old footage plus the new footage. Here's the 1080p version. As you can see, here's the uh, lower resolution version right there. So what we can do then is we can double click to go into this new sequence and you can see now that that footage has been replaced with the higher resolution footage. And you can definitely tell that because it's taking up the whole screen. So you could then come in here and, you know, do your adjustments and try to get it down to where you want it and move it around and get it into the screen. So you have your new sequence and you have the old sequence. You can see this sequence, if you look, there is the PON5 watermark. You have both sequences now, so you could choose to remove the old sequence if you want and keep your high res footage or you can reference the old one and try to update the new one if things aren't quite right once the new clips came in, you know, you can make your adjustments and so forth. So it's cool because 
you can easily replace your low resolution clips with high resolution clips, but at the same time, it doesn't completely override your sequence. So that's how it works, and it's pretty cool. The last way you could do this is, let's say you find something you want. Let, let's just take this clip as an example. You could just click Add to Cart, go to your cart. You can find it here. You can go to Checkout, and then you can click OK and then you can choose your version and then it'll download and then you can use that footage then and it won't conform or change anything with your current footage because there's no low res version currently on your project file but you can access your files that way as well and there's many more things to this service. You can check out pond5.com for more information, such as which payment types are accepted, how credits work, and how your account works, how you can sell items on Pond5 if you are looking to sell your own work as stock footage, and much, much more. So be sure to check it out, and be sure to download this plugin, because it's really nice. I'll for sure be using it, because it's so convenient, and Pond5 stock footage library is really unbeatable. So be sure to check it out.